man guard K9 training. And it's the official home of King Quattro. This is the day of training with Ulysses Muff. It's a normal session for those that are just getting ready to train their puppies and want to know what it's like to develop one. Well, this is a conditioning day with us. Now, this is my buddy Otis. Otis is my pupil. Who, uh, he's one of the first puppies besides some of the other ones that I've already placed with other people. He's one of the ones that continuously watches me. Well, when a puppy begins to watch me, then I think that that puppy is chose to me as his alpha, his leader. See, he's ready to do whatever I tell him to do. Now, this is a place this puppy has never been before. It's a strange new environment, and you must do that with your puppies. He's not afraid of anything. Yes! Good. Good boy. Yes. You can tell who loves, who wants to, who's a little bit further than the other when it comes to working and stuff like that. Ah, that's how you get him to jump. <coughs> Come on. Good. <coughs> I'm also conditioning this puppy to be ball crazy. It'll be the foundation of detection work. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I see. Good boy. Way to get your puppy to be comfortable with jumping is jumping yourself and have him follow you. As you see that I do here. Come. Here. If you're going to condition a great service dog or dog you take out here and work in the real world, you want to go back and forth and transition the dog into obedience behaviors uh, along with other commands that you may utilize in the field of the working field. It just pretty much conditions the dog to working and, and being well behaved as well. Kushier. Yes. Good boy. Bravo Kushier. Bravo Kushier. Bravo. Resta. Resta. Nine. Couché. Festa. Good. Yes. Couché. Festa. Good. So, you know, I really like this about him. He's a very good dog. Uh, he's he's chosen to be my, my worker, and, and I love the other dog a lot, but he's showed me so much over and over again that he wants to he wants to work. Push it. And that's what you do. Whenever they do something, they get what they want. Good. I see. Push it. That's what dog training is. Dog training should be fun. You don't have to follow what others are doing or tell you that you should be doing with your dog to get the ending result of a well-behaved dog. It's just staying consistent. Doing this all the time and every day. I see. Yes. Good boy. Ah. I see. Cushy. 
Old tail drop. Oh, yes. Asi? Who's here? Yes. 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 He tried. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Boy. back. Now what I would like for him to do that I didn't see is now I gotta start playing hunt games. Because uh his, his hunt game, it has to be there. His hunt drive, the willingness to stay there and look for it and believe that it's there. So we're gonna try it again. Hop. Good boy. Woo this? Here. You think that's me? Good boy. God. And that's it. Most of the time training should be short and quick. Although that, I, that was a little bit pushing him. You know, that's, that's how it should be. And the last thing I'll do with him is take him out here, you know, around some people. Let's give him a treat for that. As soon as he exhibits the behavior I'm looking for, which is a sit, uh, he'll get something. There he goes. He's going to do it. Blam. Good sit. Good, I see. Yes. Okay. He's stopping it. And he wants to keep playing the game. A lot of times you think puppies will just go in the water and get things, but you have to condition them to do those things, you know. And uh, this is what I do. I, I drop the ball right in front of him in the water after playing a ball game. And I'll do it again and again until he gets it. And we'll do it over a period of months. And then after a while, he'll be a pro at that. And he'll look good just running, diving into the water, grabbing it. So this is how you get him to do that as well if you're having problems. Yes. Now, as I stated before, he had never been to this park. And that's the first time he ever climbed up on top of a picnic table. I've never exposed him to that. So I liked when he did that. Good. Good. I see. I see. It was a yes. good idea to get him to do an obedience command while he felt comfortable in that new setting as well. You just go out and you use the things around you everywhere you go with those puppies to get them to work like a machine and feel comfortable and look good as adults. You just use everything around you. Every time you take them somewhere, you train for a quick, short, brief minute there at that, at that spot. And every time uh, you look to fix things that you don't like. And by the time this dog becomes an adult at three or four years old, he'll look like all of those other dogs that you see on videos that I've trained and the others have trained. So this is what you want to do. You know? That's a day. That's a normal training session. And uh, like I said, I freestyle. There's no... Uh, format that I use. I just see things uh, within the dog that I don't like and I try to correct it right then. I take them to new environments and I try new things. And it's about exposure. It's not about following a particular regimen. This is about exposure, 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 and correcting what you don't like or the behavior you see with the dog at that particular time and getting the dog to feel comfortable with going out into the world and working around people in different settings and he must perform the same way 100% every time. And uh, that's what makes those uh, great dogs that like Weebo, Quattro, Nero, uh, all these big names you hear out in the world today. Obedience dog, obedient dogs like this right here. Come on. Good 
Good boy, yes! Uh, uh. Yes, Vanguard K9 and Master Vonder Muff. Home of the working Belgian Malawan Dutch Shepherds. Puppies available, DVDs, dog journals, and a registry for the most important dog. Call us today. 